That one, bet them all. This is Sprawl and Call, and I'm your host, C. Rich. Also representing ACSLive.tv for all your Michigan MMA needs. Don't check out YouTube. Check out ACSLive.tv. We're going to kick it off with Bellator 151, betting advice and predictions. And we actually got a nice little card here with some names. Uh, unfortunately, MVP pulled out. But, uh, hey, we, we still got a doozy in here. And uh, you know what? Let's make some money, guys. Uh, if you if you did follow my uh, previous fight card for Silva versus Bizping, you would have went a perfect six and zero on uh, on your predictions and betting and everything. It is what it is. But come on, guys, let's hop on the bandwagon a little. We're gonna kick it off with Darren Coldwell. And Joe, the baddest man alive on the planet, Warren. Well, this fight is um, pretty interesting. It wasn't the original one slated, but it is what it is, and uh, we're going to take it how it is. Uh, Caldwell sitting at a minus 400 with Joe Warren at a plus 3. Well, I might just be a little bit of a uh, you know, Joe Warren bandwagon guy. Um, he, his odds are always... Minus 200 or under. Even though he really probably should be on a seven fight win streak and actually be the Bellator champion right now. Uh, however, he got he, uh, submitted to uh, Marcos Galvo. Well, all right. The thing is, Darren Caldwell, he's ain't you know. We just got done with the weigh here. And uh, yeah, he looks pretty good. He looks a little uh, starstruck's not really maybe the necessary words for it. He looks a little overconfident. Joe Warren, actually, I, hell, I, I think this was the best that he ever looked at uh, coming into the weigh-ins. I mean, he, he's always on weight, always on point. The guy's professional. And the thing that I've always liked about Joe Warren is he uses his head. This guy is... The he has the most proactive, positive mindset camp, like ev anywhere. Uh, the guy is he's really good motivational, just with anything. Uh, Caldwell's undefeated. The guy's a wrestling champion. I don't even know what it was. Uh, I can't think off the top of my head. The thing that does that I'm gonna. Uh, suggest is Joe Warren is usually always the underdog and what ends up happening he wins the guy should be on a huge win streak right now but he got submitted to a verbal tappage I think it was done by John McCartney if I don't uh, if I can think properly bottom line Joe Warren at a plus 300 if you are gonna unless you are have your hopes set on high of Darren Caldwell, this 8-0 fighter who hasn't proven himself to anyone of any legitimate uh, fight factor, then by all means, please bet him at a minus 400 because then it'll make my line go up. But the smart money is on Joe Warren. Uh, with this being a three-on fight, not a ton of fight, the guy is a cardio machine, and he's going to give 150% throughout this whole fight. Uh, even if he loses round one, or I don't even, the only way I can see him losing round one or, or any of the rounds is if he gets outstruck. If he gets taken down, I just, I don't see Caldwell being able to keep him there. And that's really the, the main factor here. Joe Warren is my official pick due to him being a cardio machine even though he is the smaller fighter guys he is a cardio machine and this guy does not have the word quit in his vocabulary uh he's looking for that belt back and this is gonna be another O that's gotta go and good old joe is gonna put that on this guy's record He's done it before, and I do believe he's going to do it again. I am doing, uh, I am putting $10 for 30 
on uh, Joe Warren, my bankroll, I usually hit with $100. Um, so, a uh, yeah, I'm a go big, go home type of guy. And I'm really going to kick myself in the ass if I don't uh, place a, a little wager on him. So, next, uh, we're going to go on to Gilbert Smith and Fernando Gonzalez. Gonzalez, actually, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Gilbert Smith sitting at a minus 140. With Fernando at a plus 120. This one, uh, the lines are actually going down for Gonzalez. Um, the thing that comes into play is, can Gilbert Smith get the takedown? You know, I've watched more, and, you know, I was not... I was all on Fernando at, at the beginning of when I when I saw this. I'm like, I'm just not a fan of Gilbert Smith. I, I don't know. I mean, it's nothing against the guy's mentality or anything. I just... I just don't like him. He was on the the, the toughest season of tough, um, and it was just it, it was brutal. I mean, come on, it was Uri Hall, Josh Salmon, Luke Barnett. That that whole thing was stacked. Gaslam, and uh, well, the more I think about it, Gilbert Smith has proved himself across. Across the overseas, and the guy has not been finished, and he always goes to his wrestling chops. Honestly, and, and I'm I'm I don't even want to say it, but you know what? The smart bet and the smart pick is probably Gilbert Melendez or Gilbert Smith in this fight. Uh, the guy he hasn't been finished. He's sitting at a minus one fifty. I'm going to have to bet him. Maybe not. I'm not going to bet him straight up. I'm going to put him in a parlay with something for a few dollars, whatever, get a little bit of value. But in all reality, I think he's he more than likely should pull out the win. Bob Jenkins, got a Yamanuchi. Well, Bob Jenkins, is that a plus 160? I think this with uh, Yamanuchi coming out at a minus 200. Bubba's fight IQ is not that good. His last performance, if you watch it, I was, like, getting pissed off. I think it was a split decision victory, too. He could have finished the fight, but he was like, I don't know what the hell was going on in his mind. Yamuchi, the... The guy is really good at taking the back, getting the body triangle... Uh, and working for a rear naked choke or, a, a, you know, just, just position. And I think that's where this fight is really going to come down to is w with the ground. Even though Bubba, I'm sure he can take down Yamuchi. But I don't think Bubba's going to be uh, expecting the the ground transitions and, and such that, uh, that Gotti <laughs> is going to possess. Minus 200... Really, the line should be a little closer to to even for this fight. I mean, I'm still going to pick Yamauchi. I'm not going to lay any large money on him because it's a minus 200. If it was uh, minus 125, minus 135 or so, you know, I might put a little more substantial of a bet down. But this one, it could be a toss-up. Bubba always looks good, and he's always bigger than everybody, but this is going to be the biggest ground test to his game. So then we're going to the opening one with uh, Tiny Joe Tomingio and Sawir Kakani. Well, Kakai got cut from the UFC after losing a split decision to Frankie Sands. And it was, it was kind of surprising, too. It was when they started just cutting everybody. You know, that, that, that first start of the, the all right, you're on a two-fight lose streak, one strike, you know, cut him. Well, Tiny, Kakai is sitting at a minus 400, and Tiny Joe is sitting at a plus 300. I think that betting line is ridiculous, and I think it's only uh, that way because of um, Kakai's previous affair with Frankie uh, in his UFC bout. 
I would not lay any major juice on this fight. Don't you dare bet minus 400 on uh, Kakai. If you do, you... We don't like to gamble, guys. We like to make educated guesses of probability. <laughs> this isn't one of them. I am going to throw Tiny Joe in a couple $1 parlays. Uh... Because I do think he does have a legit chance. The guy throws hammers for fists. Every time he throws a punch, it's a fight-ending, um, you know, effort. Being at 135, and I thought Joe was going to actually be a little more oversized in this one, but those guys pretty well matched up uh, to the weigh-ins. My official pick is Kakai for the win. However, I'm not putting my money anywhere near it. And uh, Tiny Joe at a plus 300. If you're looking for some value, this could be a good start to the night for your bankrolls. Play it small, though, guys. And hey, thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like the little thumb but thumbs up button down at the bottom. Always check out SpawnCall.com for all your MMA needs, wants, as well as ACSLive.tv. I'm your host, C. Rich, forever and always. Don't blow your bankrolls. And always have fun, guys.